Yo, it was good, Sativa. We got another video. We're about to do the pancake swap and Uniswap. So you're going to see Uniswap on the computer screen. Because I'm going to do that on the computer. And we're going to do the pancake swap first on the phone. So first things first, man, you got to load up your trust wallet. I did that in the KuCoin video. So if that confuses you or you don't know how to get BNB on your uh, trust wallet, you need to go do that, right? So let's go to pancakeswap.finance. And you can just put in a Google, put in pancake swap. It'll be the first link. So the first thing you want to do is connect your wallet. I'm using Trust Wallet for this. It's the Binance native wallet. Like Binance made BNB. They made Trust Wallet. They made Pancake Swap. So you know it all works together well. Okay, so I should be connected. I'm hit trade now. Yeah, look, you can see my BNB balance, right? But what I'm gonna show y'all what to do first is you gotta swap it from regular BNB to the smart chain. So you can tell because one's yellow and the other one's black. So I sent a little bit of BNB to my wallet just to show y'all. So we're gonna hit swap right here. You know, it's right after you open your trust wallet, go to BNB, then you'll see the swap button. Hit swap the smart chain. All right, bet. Just hit with a little zero at, and whatever you got, just hit 100% and hit swap. It's gonna cost about $2. That's regular, it's the usual price. It's gonna say process, it might take a few minutes. So it's, it takes like, like 10, 15 seconds at most, you feel me? So go to smart chain, where it's like the black one with the yellow on the inside, that's how you can tell. So this is what you're gonna use on PancakeSwap because it's, a, it's on the Binance smart chain. So that's what you gotta do. All right, next I would say find out the coin you wanna get, right? So for this example, I'm gonna use a Marvin. It's one of the meme coins on my list. But I'm gonna act like I haven't put it in there before. So go to Coin Market Cap or Coin Gecko. I'm gonna use Coin Market Cap for this one. I'm gonna use Coin Gecko for Uniswap, and then search your coin. So we want to look up Marvin, and we want Elon's Marvin, not Marvin Inu. All right, and I ain't telling y'all to buy this either. It's just like my example. I would wait for this to dip some more, in my opinion. Yeah, what am I looking for? So look, you see the Binance Smart Chain BEP20. You want to hit the little squares right there and copy that. Go back and then hit select a currency on Pancake Swap. Now I already got Marvin, but hit manage tokens. Go to tokens instead of list, and then you paste the token in there. So it's already saying active on mine because I got it, but it will come up and it will ask you if you want to import it. And it's going to say uh, anybody could create a token on Binance, which is true. And it's going to just uh, tell you to be careful and you got to say you understand. So that's going to come up once you hit that. Cool. So I'm going to go back. I already got Marvin. Boom, so I'm trying to buy a small amount because I said I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, get a large amount this time. It's gonna, it should probably dip more before it goes back up in my opinion. But I'm gonna just do a, a 0.05. It's a little bit of Marvin, you feel me? Certain coins you gotta raise the slippage, but for right now, I'm just gonna try the 0.5. I'm gonna keep it on standard. If, if you know, you could raise it a little bit at a time, but you don't wanna pay extra slippage for no reason. That's just gonna be people front running you and you're gonna pay higher for it. And then another thing too, I'm glad I remembered, whatever you put in here, at the end of the numbers of whatever you're gonna buy, so I'm buying Marvin with BNB. So at the end of Marvin, put dot, or like, there's already a decimal, but put like a one, two, three at the end. I don't know why, but a lot of times transactions won't go through unless you do this. It's like some weird little jug you gotta do, but yeah, it's a sauce on that. So hit swap. Okay, did a price update, so the coin must have moved in price. So I'm just accept that. I hit confirm swap. It's gonna come over here and it's gonna ask me to uh, confirm. So hold on, saying connecting. Let me take a few seconds. And look, if it's ever tripping, I'm gonna go back. And I don't know why that was tripping. Hit disconnect. And then make sure you disconnect it, okay. And then connect wallet again. Things like this happen all the time. You just gotta make sure you're hitting. Okay, boom, yeah, connect. There we go. Should work this time. So we got the same amount. Swap. Bet, here we go, this is what I wanna see. So it's gonna show you the max total, what you're buying. I'm only putting $30 on this shit, it's just for an example. But see the network fee right there is 75 cents. 
Now, remember that when we go look at the Ethereum shit on Uniswap, it's going to look a whole lot different. Probably not even going to buy that shit for real because I ain't about to deal with that. But yeah, just hit confirm. Now it says you can go back to your browser. So go back to PancakeSwap. Look at saying uh, transaction submitted. So you can view it on BSC scan, right? This is the transaction hash. So this is like what you just did. And this is your wallet. So the value is $30. $30. Then the, the status of the transaction is indexing like I just did it. So in a couple seconds, it'll be uh, completed. So yeah, look, a little bit of BNB went out and we're done. So look, Marvin, it's not showing my transaction, but I copped my little $30 of that, right? So, okay, cool. That's how you do that. Be careful with, you gotta be careful with any coin, but there's a lot of scams everywhere, especially on Binance. People try to make like fake versions of the coin. It'll have the same title, same everything. You got to find like the official one and make sure you got it right. So, okay, that's what we're going to do for uh, for BNB. I'm going to cut off this phone. All right, now it's time to do Uniswap. So, I already got it up here. It's uniswap.org. You can just put that in Google. They used to have an app on the phone. I don't know what happened, but I'm just doing this on the uh, computer. So, launch app. Boom, now it's going to tell me to connect my wallet. For this, you're going to use MetaMask. Like MetaMask for show. Sure. Okay, so I got to unlock my wallet now. I wrote down a complicated ass password that I couldn't remember even if I tried because that's the vibe. You feel me? You don't want to have the same password as your fucking Instagram for all your bread. Like, you feel me? In the last, the last video, I told y'all this is DeFi, decentralized finance. So you can't really fuck around. So let me take my time and make sure I type this in right. Boom. So we in there. I'm going to open up this so I can have my little sidecar next to me. So I got a little bit of ETH, right? Now I'm going to try to buy Monoke Inu or like, let's look at the chart of this. So I held off from buying about it when I, when I first found out. It was probably right around this range. But I was like, nah, I looked at the chart. I'm like, I could probably dip some more. You feel me? And if we have another dog coin season, it could go crazy. It's not really an if at this point. It's a win. So idealistically, I want to cop around like right here, this little, you feel me, price range. Because I think that's like the first, like biggest range of support. You see they both touch the same zone. Anyways, so you could either get the contract from here. Like if you got DEX tools and you're using that to look up your little uh, shit coins, you could do that. See, look, the, it would be right here. But you could also look it up on something like, where is it? Uh, yeah, CoinGecko. So I showed y'all CoinMarketCap. Go to the search bar and hit Mono Noke. Here we go. It popped up. Yeah, sorry about my pronunciation. You already know how that go. So look, here's the contract right here. I know it's the official one. Uh, and we're gonna go back to Uniswap. Select the token. Paste it. Okay. Boom. So let's just see, right? So say I wanted to get. Uh, 0 0.111 of the Mono K Unu, right? Okay. I'm going to hit swap. Confirm swap. Uh, let's see. Oh, look, see? It probably won't gonna go through. This could frustrate you and piss you off, right? You're trying to buy the coin. You're like, why it's not working, right? Let me make sure there was, uh, okay, there's no decimal on this. So look, dot, one, two, three. Watch this. In the, I don't understand that shit. But look, look at the gas fee, though. $106, bro. Now, in comparison, it could be worse. It could be $300. You feel me? But if I'm trying to make a $500 investment, it's automatically a $400 investment off top because I got to pay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you already, you got to make $100 just to break even. And I'm not into that right now. Now, say if it was a project that I really believed in. Like, say if it was dog along when I first bought it, uh, you know, on the first day or something like that. I don't give a fuck. I had an inside call from somebody in my circle. I would have paid $200 in gas. I would have tried to put a couple bands on it. But if you're dealing with a small amount, that gas fee is going to kill you. Now, if you hit the right coin, you could do a 5, 10x, and then maybe that $100 won't mean nothing to you. But, you know, I ain't about to play that game right now. So if I hit confirm, it will go through. But also, I want to show you, too, the, uh, the gas fee. 
I will always put this on high. You see how medium is 105, low is basically 105, and then high is still 105. Like it might be a, a slight difference, like the max fee is higher. Like see, it's like a 115 max fee, 126. Oh, look, that shit just went up, wow. Or 147. I always do high just so it could go through quick, and I want to be prioritized by the miners. That gives you a smaller chance of having your uh, transaction not go through. So, yeah, I'm definitely not buying this right now. But, yeah, we can uh, dismiss that. You can see uh, it would have been the same way. Say if I bought the coin, it would have popped up in my MetaMask, right? But for an example, what I'm going to show you all is you got to... To see it in your wallet, this is the same on Trust Wallet too. I didn't show you all this. Uh, I'm gonna copy that. You gotta pull up your MetaMask and look. Go to Assets, Import Tokens. So I'm gonna go to a Custom Token, and you gotta paste the contract address in there for it to pop up. So I'm gonna paste that, and look. See how it came up, like with the with the coin name and the decimals, or whatever. So. Let me see what's, what's missing. Damn, that shit's so long. I'm just gonna put them on the note here. I know what it means. A long ass name wouldn't even let you save it. But yeah, okay. Import token. Now, I don't have any, but if I did, it would have popped up right here and it would say how much I had of the token. But yeah, man, that pretty much sums it up. We're gonna put something together for y'all soon. I'm trying to think of some more ideas. I'm probably gonna ask y'all on Twitter, like, what y'all wanna see next. Or the stuff I get the most feedback for, like what people need sooner than others. We'll put something together good for y'all, man. Get the money in the meantime.